This morning in our continuing election series, Trail Mix, a grab bag of interesting facts, factoids, and little pieces of odd information that you just won't find anywhere else. Political consultant Laura Schwartz is back with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Back in the day, we used to say, clothes make the man. And you know what? They make the woman. Do clothes make the candidate? Well, we found out this week, you know, Sarah Palin wore this beautiful jacket the night of her acceptance speech at uh -huh. the RNC. Right. We found out week this week that hockey moms wear Valentino. Is that? <laughs> yes. It Whoa. was a $2,500 jacket from Saks Fifth Avenue. So it's getting a lot of notice this week as mm -hmm. the numbers came out. But it went over great. She looks fabulous in right. it. But right. some people think, well, maybe she's taking some cues from Cindy McCain now. Right. You know, Cindy McCain, her outfit that she wore the opening night of the convention mm -hmm. comes in once you tally everything up right. Oscar de la Renta dress right. for three thousand the watch from Chanel forty five hundred eleven to twenty five thousand dollars worth of pearls six hundred dollars shoes wow. and the diamond earrings wow. two hundred and eighty thousand dollars so she clocks in right around three hundred thousand <laughs> the earrings though <laughs> that kind of puts her necklace. over the top that's like one and a half houses Harry so you know I <laughs> that's mine, a lot. That's mine a aren't lot. all real but, but anyway. here's the thing part of this is very interesting because there's this whole viral response, especially to the Sarah Palin look, mm -hmm. everybody is on eBay looking for yes. Palin paraphernalia. Everything. And you don't have to spend $2,500 on a jacket to get right. a style. Her glasses go for about $400 from Kawasaki. You can't get them. Series 704, mm -hmm. color 34 gray, very popular. <laughs> her shoes that she wore for her announcement with, mm -hmm. uh, with John McCain are from Naughty Monkey. Right. They're called the Double Dare Style. It's a red peekaboo shoe. Right. And uh, that's under $100. There so there's go. some other ways to get it, but if you want real Sarah Palin paraphernalia yes. on eBay yes. today, as of a few moments ago, a piece of toast with Sarah Palin's face on it is going for $12,000. Yes. Now, I hear that that just didn't appear like the Virgin Mary sometimes appears on potato chips. That actually was like embrazened into it. But yeah, uh, if you got 12 grand today, I you might know. want to check it out. I'm not sure I can live without that. <laughs> I know you can. <laughs> Laura Schwartz, thanks so much. Thank you. Time once again for our series 50 Days, 50 States, with 46 days left until Election Day. We look at the race in North Carolina. There are 15 electoral votes at stake in the Tar Heel State. George W. Bush beat John Kerry in North Carolina by 12 points in 2004. The latest CNN Time poll suggests Barack Obama is staying competitive in this potential battleground state. John McCain leads by a single point, 48 to 47. Like many southern states, North Carolina has not gone to the Democrats in a presidential race since Jimmy Carter won there in 1976.